earlier during the swine flu and dengue fever spreading time the ayush ministry formed under the bjp led central government and the ai adm k led tamil nadu government promoted nilavempu kashayam and other traditional recipes to the people as a preventive measures and immunity booster in this covid 19 period the same governments promoted kabasura concoction to boost immunity power this is happening at an official level throughout the state tn minister supported siddha medicines for mild and asymptomatic covid patients to understand more about the effectiveness of traditional medicines especially the siddha which is a tamil nadu origin news click spoke to dr s krishna swami he said retired professor of bioinformatics from madurai kamaraj university he is also the treasurer of all india people science network and former president of tamil nadu science forum what is happened is siddha being a traditional form of medicine uh, using natural herbs and so on uh, the uh, there is a separate ministry that has been created earlier it was a department of uh, traditional medicine indian traditional medicine and in 2003 they renamed this into the ayush ayurveda yoga yunani siddha homeopathy but it was still a department then in 2014 after this uh, government the current bjp government came into the uh, center they formed a separate ministry called ayush to promote ayurveda yoga unani siddha and homeopathy that was in 2014 and there was a huge amount of money that has been put but till now 2026 years that ministry has not made any clinical trials to validate any of the formulations and any publication that has come is always been in very you know uh, not peer reviewed journals journals of not good repute only there such publications have been coming saying this uh, treatment is working that treatment is working so what the central government and tamil nadu government also should have done is to make sure whatever medication they are going to tell that has been tested with people clinically even for dengue fever some few years back tamil nadu government did the same thing they said nilavembu kashaya and they promoted this they started giving it everywhere but once that dengue uh, you know uh, that uh, passed away then all activity was stopped so now there is no evidence whether nilavembu kashaya is clinically proven or not the problem is that the ministers or the government does not have any scientific temper they don't go by the constitutional requirement of having scientific temper they go by making uh, claims which suit their particular uh, way of thinking or ideological way of thinking this is the uh, no the whole problem is that it is not only the political leader promoting it is also the public not questioning see if there is a scientific temper in the uh, people this is what uh, uh, jawaharlal nehru wrote and also brought it in the constitution uh, the constitution says that scientific temper is uh, you know part of the it has to be there for everybody but all these years it, our education system our way of uh, society has not inculcated it into the uh, general public so that is the reason why we have so much of acceptance when a minister or somebody says the people media everybody should say you are talking nonsense you are talking bullshit no but they don't say that because the minister gets away with whatever he wants to tell and the minister has a particular uh, uh, no particular vested interest to promote such things and he doesn't have the uh, people in mind of what is good for the people that is a problem kapasura kudiniri is being promoted by the tamil nadu government from the beginning of pandemic how do you see this kapasura kudinir is one 
preparation which is belonging to traditional medicine the kavasara kudinir if it is promoted provided there is enough evidence for it that is what is important uh, as such kavasara kudinir uh, as of date officially people do not know what is the role of kavasara kudinir in uh, clearing the covid uh, 19 uh, infection uh, people have suggested that it is based on traditional knowledge that uh, it can also cure viral fever and viral infection what the government should do is to uh, check uh, do clinical trials and check that it is happening that kovasar uh, kodinir is able to clear such uh, uh, covid 19 disease and uh, they had enough time to do that so they could have set up a clinical trial done that and then if there is enough evidence there is no harm in promoting but right now it is another way of like a superstition just as uh, saying if i uh, come and uh, go to the uh, uh, the witchcraft uh, some medicine person and then he puts a neem leaf on you it will become all right so there is no difference between that and kapasara kodini now so there are reports unofficial reports that uh, kapasara kodini uh, in a institute in delhi uh, they are uh, trying to check and uh, there is some limited uh, information from the laboratory level that it may be helpful but uh, there is no confirmed clinical trials even for medicines like uh, the allopathic medicines hydroxychloroquine or remdesivir uh, it is uh, accepted that promoting such medication without clinical trials is not correct that is why who has also said first they said hydroxychloroquine uh, may be useful then they said it may not be useful because there are clinical trials which show that it is not very successful so like that uh, the it is not the whether kavasara kudinir or any other medicine has to be given any medicine which is evidence based showing that clinical trials show that people with covid infection can be uh, cured or at least uh, uh, prevented some further infection or becoming worse then it is good so the importance is evidence based uh, medication why are political leaders promoting such medicines which are scientifically not proven the problem is that uh, tamil nadu has a tradition has a history of being a rationalist from the time of periyar all the movement that went in the revidian movement and the parties that have come so now this party in uh, admk though has a named revidian it has no rationalist thinking and it has completely cut away from its roots of rationalist thinking and you that's why you find no minister no uh, person in the cabinet has a rationalist attitude they are all completely superstitious and uh, you know uh, giving such wrong ideas you can have a personal faith in uh, any system but you cannot when you are in a uh, state which is supposed to be secular where the constitution is uh, saying that it is secular the chief minister of a state which follows this constitution has no business telling uh, god will know or uh, you pray and it will become all right so actually this is enough grounds if people were very using enough grounds to say this chief minister should quit before this uh, you know the whole uh, turn around happened you let us say if jailalta was in power it's very unlikely she would have towed the line of bjp and it is also i mean whatever the reason behind and uh, now this current government this edapadi pani swami and uh, panni selvam government is become like a puppet of the bjp there are widespread messages circulating in social media suggesting that some items mixtures or dishes to increase the immunity against covid will they really work this is a completely wrong idea false propagation of uh, information the 
our immunity level is important our immunity response to the virus is there but uh, just eating something just now one day is not going to improve your uh, immune response overall nutrition status that is what is important if you are a very healthy individual and uh, well nourished individual then your immune uh, response is good but this additional factors for enhancing immunity and all is not proven at all there is no uh, evidence to say that if you eat this or that then the amount of antibodies uh, uh, the production capacity will increase or your uh, the t cell response capacity that is two types of immunity one is the humoral immunity and the cell mediated immunity there is no evidence that eating any of these things increases either the t cell immunity capability or the humoral immunity capability apart from this there is something called innate immunity that is the immunity that is uh, coming because of broad spectrum you know there are so many germs so many viruses that uh, affect us but we still don't uh, there is no need for separate vaccines on them but we still are able to avoid them that is because of something called innate immunity this innate immunity also the uh, factors involved in the innate immunity are known but uh, there is no evidence that any of these things which are eaten taken uh, a supplement in increase the innate immune response and in addition in this covid situation uh, there is a possibility that the uh, towards the when people are very sick 80 85% of the people who are affected by this covid uh, the 19 uh, they become normal on their own because of the normal immune system without enhancing without doing anything to that the remaining go into a slightly more uh you know that uh, they go into for serious uh, complications and when they go into serious complications one of the things that happen where lot of organs uh, are affected is something called the cytokine storm where cytokines is the uh, immune response molecule uh, it is the set of molecules which are released in large numbers and that goes and affects it sort of starts uh, fighting against the whole system so so this cytokine storm is actually a result of the innate immunity turning upon itself for some reason we don't know really why so uh, even if some molecules which is some food which is given increases the innate immunity there is still a problem that whether it will affect whether people taking such supplement when they go into covid 19 and go to a more serious stage whether because of these supplements their cytokine storm that response becomes more or has problem that we do not know we will know only when there are enough people tested and so on so i right thought the safer thing is to say not eat all these other things but just stay uh, healthy eat good food drink lots of water eat good food and uh, the regular precautions of uh, keeping distance and wearing mask and so on. so so the problem also is that such wrong messages and uh, wrong uh, give false sense of security to the people i may take okay because i am taking this particular supplement uh, i am going to be better and so i don't have to wear a mask or i don't have to worry about washing my hands because i am taking kavasaru kudinir i can go on uh, you know be uh, in a group together with large number of people so like that giving these wrong this medications which are not proven giving such supplements which are not proven they can give a false sense of security to the people and prevent them from taking the right course of action that is needed